Since we're going into a colder day up in the northern hemisphere, this chicken soup will be wonderful to chase away the cold. I make this soup every time someone is feeling a bit under the weather, and it works wonders. As always, all the quantities and the recipe are written down in the description below the video. Now, let's get started. First, let's brown our yellow onion. This will add extra flavor to the soup, so do not skip this step. Place it on a hot pan. You can add a drop of oil if you wish, but it's not needed. It will take about 8 to 10 minutes on a medium to high heat to get it slightly charred. Next, we need to add our frozen chicken into a pot. Make sure you use a large pot for this. My pot can hold up to 5 liters of liquid. I use frozen chicken because if it cooks, it will slowly thaw and release its flavors into the water. You can of course use fresh chicken if you have that, that's nothing wrong with it. Now let's add in our vegetables. Try to tuck them all around the chicken, so they won't float around too much. If your carrots are a bit large, just cut them in quarters and half them. They will fit better in the pot. Pour in your cold water. Add it around two and a half liters. You might need to add more or less depending on how big your pot is. Just make sure your chicken is fully submerged in the water. At the end, add your charred onion. Turn your heat up to medium, cover the pot and slowly bring everything to a simmer. It will take about 30 to 45 minutes. While it cooks, check on the soup frequently and take off any scum that is floating on the top. You can leave it if you wish, but the soup will be cloudy and it can become a little bit bitter as well. It's important to first remove the scum of the soup and then add our spices and aromatics. This way they don't get in the way and we don't remove them by mistake. So let us add in parsley, peppercorns, scrunched bay leaves, safflower and the rest of the soup spice mix. Add in a tiny pinch of saffron. It will give the soup a lovely golden color. At the end, add in your salt. Cover your pot and cook on low heat for about 2-3 to three hours. While it cooks, make sure the soup does not boil. Now that the soup is cooked, take it off the stove and set it to a side to cool slightly. Remove your chicken from the soup and place it on a plate. Prepare a smaller pot and place a mesh strainer over it. Later your soup through the mesh strainer. This way, it's easy to separate the liquid from the solids left from the cooking. Take a few carrots from the soup and slice them up. You can add them at the end to your soup or just eat them up. They're very healthy and delicious. From chicken, you can cut away some breast meat and cut it into strips. This will add extra strength to those eating the soup and an additional texture. If the soup has cooled down too much, just reheat it on the stove, but do not let it boil. For the soup to have its healing effect, it needs to be served hot. The rest of the soup you can keep in the fridge for about two days. Or better yet, freeze it and use it later. I hope you like this video and that the soup will warm you up nicely. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not yet and see you next week. Bye bye!